We have all the... <laughs> Is that the, the, the bulb head thing? <laughs> Who's the first one that needs to get treated for? The lightheadedness. It's literally, you get it? Lightheadedness. They have a light bulb on their head. Oh, it's so good. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Two Point Hospital. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. This right here, as you can probably imagine, is a sim game where you get to build your own hospital. In many ways, this is a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital, which is a great, amazing, classic game. And some of the people who worked on that game have also worked on this one right here, so it gives me a really good sense of satisfaction this could actually be really, really good. All the information for the game will be down below. If you'd like to see a bit more of this on the channel, you know what to do, let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a thumbs up, we could definitely do so. But I figure we at least take, out, take it out for one video over here and just see what this is all about, in case you're on the fence of picking this up for yourself. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. <laughs> now that's an introduction right there. It seems fairly wacky and goofy, very much like Theme Hospital did, so that's good to see. That gives me some hope right there. Um, welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank, and I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. All right, Albert Crank, you got it. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Oh, you're damn right I am. That's the reason why I'm here. First thing the hospital would need is a reception. Patients will head there when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build one near the entrance. Okay, so we have entrance right over here. This is the lot of real estate, dog. I gotta tell you. So let's go over to... Items, reception, okay. I'm liking the UI, very simplistic, not too convoluted, not too complicated, everything's just there where it needs to be. Um, where do we set this bad boy up? I guess um, as they walk in, we probably want to go somewhere through here. So how do I rotate Z and X, all right? So as they walk in, <laughs> the moment you walk in, you smack right into the reception desk, no. That's silly. How about we line it up with this so that we could probably build some hallways eventually? So we'll do like doorways maybe through here. I think this is fine. This will give me enough room to probably build. That's good. Maybe like a wall over here and build a hallway. That's very good. Great. We need an assistant to run a reception. Let's hire one now. Click on hire, then assistants. Okay. So we have doctors, nurses, janitors, and assistants. Let's pick up Whitney Augerby. There you go. You will be my reception area lady. Hopefully you do a good job there. Great. Before we officially open, we did GP's office. That should be the general practitioner, right? Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner. Yep. At each stage of a diagnosis, the GP will assess patients and decide they're ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis of room building. All right. So we have to at least get a three by three room for the GP office. So rooms it is, GP office. Where do we want this bad boy to be at? So not too close nearby. So maybe if we are to build walls over here in hallways, maybe a corner office would be very good for that. And if we need like more further assistance, we could send them to the back. I have surgery, who knows what else back over there. So this would be my dude. Three by three at the very least. Let's give him a, a four by three at least, you know? Why not? Give him a little bit of extra room and then the doorway. If this was to be a hallway, I think the door right there works very good. Oh, nice. You just give me the items I need for this immediately. I like that a lot. So let's get you, you know, have give you a, a bird's eye view. Not really a bird's eye view, but if you guys want to look out the window, you have that option too. So we can set you up like right there. And you need a filer. Good. Maybe filer right over there. Is that it? So filing cabinet and the office desk. That's about it. So we approve. Hey. Oh, I like the building aspect too. Doctore. We have Victor Hammer, which sounds like an amazing name for a, doc a doctor, to be honest with you. But these guys will be for... Oh, GP. Okay. 
So those could be very good. We also have Robin Finlander, Diagnostic, Diagnostic, Motivation. So I'm gonna go either... Man, that, that over shout thing always freaks me out. Uh, let's go with Victor Hammer. Yes, that's a good name for a doc for me. Hire him. There you go, buddy. Hammer away on the patients, right? It's all good. Hospital's now open. Now we gotta wait for a patient. And here's the first some chap coming on in. He's wearing shorts. Some Chuck Taylors as well. And a good old blazer. That is styling and profiling like I've ever seen it myself. Tim Masterstroke. Let me tell you. Those shorts and those um Chucks. They are indeed quite a bit of a master stroke. Off you go. I know the, the, the hospital's kind of barren right now. Don't worry. We are a legitimate official business here. We're just in the phase of like barely starting off. So what's his problem? A pharmacy is required or doctors have discovered a new illness. Grout. Or is it? It's not Groot. I doubt it's Groot. It's grout. So it's like a combination of gout maybe and something else. It's frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication. It's effective unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Oh my. Let's go over to rooms, pharmacy. Now, where do I want the pharmacy? I want that somewhere towards the exit, you know, after, you know, with the doctor's office, you come over here, you pick up your drugs, and then you leave, right? And we're looking for, how big does this room have to be? Three by three? Mm, I'm gonna say we take up four by three at the very least. And then what we could do, like the way I wanna play this out, is that, yeah, I'll, I'll explain later. So this will be, what, what am I placing down? Oh, the drug mixer! Right. So... Somewhere here in the corner seems really good to me. And this is gonna be stamina training. Let's go with Winston Fromage. And you go. So we have two people right now waiting to get some pills there. Pills here! Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure a simple illness. Let's see if our new staff are up to the task. So right now we have one dude waiting. Um, do we want to give like some benches or something? Is that something you need to teach me about? Because I would like to kind of deck this out and have people sit down, read a magazine. You know those magazines when you go to the doctor, right? They're freaking outdated and stuff like that. I, I guess I, that when I used to be a kid and used to go to the doctor very often, that used to be the case. Nowadays, I haven't been to a doctor in a very long time just because I fear hospitals. I fear my mor my mortality, to be honest with you. I feel that if I go to a doctor at any point in my life now, they're going to find some sort of terminal illness. Patient cured. Very good. Well done. We've cured the first patient. We've earned some money. And the reputation has improved. By curing patients, we improved the reputation. Right. We want to be known as a hospital that actually gets things done. So that's very good to me. You're still waiting and then you're going to be over here, Beanie Man. Off to my general practitioner's office. So is there anything else you want to do meanwhile? Good. Janitors in maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. So, uh, hire one janitor and place two fire extinguishers. You got it. So hire janitor. Oh, we have a ghost-busting one. We have to pick up Jezebel Spawn. If you're gonna be able to, like, you know, catch ghosts for us, that's actually very good. So there you go. And we need two fire extinguishers because apparently we have a couple of arsonist problems over here. So we're gonna need fire extinguishers, maybe an items. Yes. Let's put one inside of the drug lab because that worries you quite a bit. Keeping people happy. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Oh yeah, I mean, that's what I was talking about. There we go. Benches, leaflet stands, drink machines. All right, so now we get to get a little bit creative here. Let's go over to items, I imagine. And we have benches here. So once they come in, I want them to sit down. Eh, somewhere off to the side sounds very good to me. So rotate. Like so. And then... Maybe, you know, I don't want people to be all smushed in together, so we'll give them a little bit of room in between. A leaflet stand. We have one here. Can I place that in between? Oh, I can. There you go. You can sit down. We don't have magazines for now, but you can pick up a leaflet stand and just read away. Drink machine and a snack machine as well. Very good. See, now, this I'm not too crazy about. Like, you know, I'd rather you just have that food in my hospital whatsoever because, you know, I find it to be rather disgusting because people are disgusting by nature they just eat stuff and just throw it whenever they feel like it um that's the burps <laughs> and then we have the snack machine the burps exactly and the cheesy govins too staff energy and break staff gets tired as they work and will eventually go on a break the staff room will help them relax and return to work energize drinks and snacks help them keep happy too so we might want to give them their own beverage machines maybe all right so build a staff room Let's go over to rooms for that. Let's zoom on out, see what's happening over. Janet, are you doing your job or are you just wandering around trying to find ghosts? Staff room. 
you have to be 3 by 2 at the very least. So where do I want my peeps hanging out at? Well, I want them like further away. They don't want to be associating with the ill people under breaks, so I'm going to give them their own little privacy. I, I'll even give them a 3 by 3 Why not? And you can have that door right over there, like you get a nice little sofa too to relax after some hard work. I'm going to be working you guys to the bone, so I guess that's very good for you. That's all we need for the staff room, apparently. Well, we got money. Can I put some extra stuff in there? Because I will. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy. They can lead to littering. I told you that there's no bins nearby. I told you. These scumbags build toilets and place two bins. That's good. We have to go by a 3 by 2 at the very least. So we'll do 3 by 2 Sure. We'll place this here for now. And that's got to probably be facing the other way, I would say. There you go. Boom. Two. We'll give him a sink as well. Put this sink, like, right over through here. Hand dryer. Sure. Oh. Oh. That might be a problem. Conflicting problem. We'll go ahead and put the hand dryer by the exit. And then we'll put two bins. One. Two. And confirm. What's up? That's good. So you need two toilets. You can't have people waiting. If they gotta go, they gotta go. I know how that is. Janitors with empty bins and unblocked toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter and other waste. Yeah. Further diagnosis. We've heard reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a newer diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. So, general diagnosis has now been unlocked as well, huh? Let's set up, to begin with, maybe one more GP office for now. And I can't make this a smaller one because I already gave that guy a 4x3. You know, I can't be playing favoritism here, so we'll do... Boom. I'll give you the thing right there. There it is. We should probably hire... Doctor. Diagnostics. Let's go with, um, Jane Champion. You are a champion. There you go. Hospital levels increase. We have to cure two patients. Let's go over now to the general diagnostic as well. And I guess we'll put general diagnostics somewhere next to you. Uh, we need to have, we need you to have you like go check that a bit further. So go next door. If we do a four, hold up, it's not gonna fit. If we do a three by three, it's gonna have one gap in between. We could have a four by three and a three by three. So we'll probably have to play favoritism, which I don't want to do that. So let's do a three by three for now, and we'll place this like right there in the center. Okay, and we'll place that like right over there. Let's have you rotate this way. Okay. And that's good. And for that one, I guess we'll get the general diagnostics one that we need. We have the ward unlocked now, too. Oh, boy. We're making some progress here, boys. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to higher here first, though. Revenue. We're losing money, but again, we're, we're, we're building a lot right now, so that makes sense. News flash. There's a pe peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP office. I already got that. And more staff to keep on top of things. Okay. Um, let's go and set up a doctor here. And for this one... Uh, Morris Pratt. You're really expensive. You got Bedside Manor, though. You know, I'm, I'm a sucker for Bedside Manor. I already hate the doctor as it is, so having a nice doctor is really good. There you go. We have one person at a GP. Bring him on in. No. You're gonna take a break already? You just started. And, um, our doctors have discovered new illness bogs... Bogwarts. A rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets that can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy. Or with witchcraft. <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment to our pharmacy. As much as I hate doing this, we'll have to set up another one next door to it. Oh, it's gonna ruin the entire ensemble that I have going here, too. Well, I guess this hallway dream of mine is gonna be coming to an end pretty soon. We'll make this one a bit smaller. See, I'm not crazy about having this office here, like, going around there. It's kind of like, you know, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, boy. Well, there you go. And let's hire that nurse. Scotty Sandwich or Dorothy Cleary? Dude, I can't, I cannot hire Scotty Sandwich, right? <laughs> Scotty Sandwich, you can't go wrong. All right, so now we got to earn a little bit of money here to unlock the Deluxe Clinic. But we're already at level four, which is good. Um, we have a queued up list. Excuse me, Doctore? Oh, I forgot to give you the items that I wanted to set up here. Let's do that now. So, drink machine. Through here. Snack machine. Oh. I don't I don't like that blocking the window. Oh, 
please fit there. It's not gonna fit there. That's a problem. Well, it's gonna have to go right there. And let's see. What else do you think these guys want? Some plants, maybe? Increases hospital, hospital attractiveness. Well, you know, maybe some decor for the people here. That'll work. Prestige level has gone up to a two for them. And maybe another one, like, right over here. And maybe you guys aren't gonna be filthy and, like, you know, actually use a garbage can. There you go. Check that out right there. I've hooked you up pretty well, I would say. How's my queued up stuff here? Well, there's nobody waiting right now, which is fine, other than the people in the reception area. You're looking at the leaf stand over there. Very good. How's the restrooms coming along? Very good. Any ghosts anywhere? <laughs> no? All right. Let's go to regular time, then. Look at this line, though, dude. Are you asleep, lady? No. She's just deep in thought, apparently. Should we set up another reception desk? I mean, once she's back, we do go through the line pretty fast, so maybe it's not too important. Our doctors have diagnosed the patient with bed face, but it, it requires a ward for treatment. You should consider building one. Oh, yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? Um, Whitney? Hammer. Hammer is on sleep. He's on break on call. He looks very energized to me. Dog? Take your ass right there. People, why are you just queuing up in one line? There's another one right there. Go next door. You need the, the ward, do you? Okay, hold up, hold up. The list clinics have been unlocked now, too. This requires a four by three. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. Got it. Hospital star rating. The two-point health ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the need of the local area, the hospital will be awarded the official star rating. This will be great for organizations. Not only does the, each star come with associated rewards, so this gave us um, beds, nurse stations, and screens now, too, and more items. Very cool. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one-star rating. Well, let me set up the ward here first. Cure three patients with lightheadedness. All right. So for this one, I think I want this set up, like, right here. Uh-huh. And then we'll have that like so. That like so. Is it good now? There you go. Wards can now be used for diagnosis and also treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward, aha, which I did, to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that should work here in the room settings. This is useful if you have a lot of patients. Alright, so we could definitely adjust the number of people working here too, right? Well, let's get the one nurse to begin with, and then we'll go with some more if we need them. So, nurse. Um, I'm gonna sit Cassandra Galaxy because I see that right there. Cassandra Galaxy. In you go. No, oh, I see two people there being queued up. Kudosh. <laughs> By competing objectives, our organization earns Kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. Right. That's kind of what you told me about, so thank you. The misery guts have been discovered. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. <laughs> we'll send the patients for treatment at our pharmacy. Deluxe clinics required. So our doctors have discovered lightheadedness, which we have to... Treat um, for the one star hospital, I need three of them treated, right? So get a patient to wait. It will cost 21,100 21, to build. Deluxe clinic in order, order. Yeah, so let's get a patient to wait. Get a patient to wait. Room Deluxe clinic. So at three by three. All right, and we can set that up like so. And hmm. Where would the doctor stand? This way? I'm gonna say this way. There you go. And this will be the mechanism for it. Aha! Hospital level is increased. Keep expanding to attract more patients and staff. Alright, how's things going right now? We have all oh, the <laughs> Is that the 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 bulb head thing? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Who can I get your name? You have the lightheaded in this thing? Henrietta Itch. And you guys go, go on in. Who's the first one that needs to get treated for the lightheadedness? It's literally, you get it? Lightheadedness. They have a light bulb on their head. Oh, it's so good. We have one person, two people waiting. Oh, you scums are taking up room, huh? My waiting queue isn't really that bad, so everything is fine. It's mostly that we're getting congested up through here is what I would say. So we either need to speed this up. And hopefully you guys are like almost cleared up here. My man, you're cured of bed face. It's time for you to put your clothes on and ixnay on the ombre, okay? Ixnay on the ombre. Get on out of here. You've done well. We've cured you. And we got two guys over here waiting. That's fine. We're about to get you in here pretty soon. Let's speed up time. All right, come on. Let them dress. Next person in line, please. Inside you go. There you go. 
And this will be the third lightheaded that's coming up right now, too. Alright. Pharmacy's looking pretty good. Our money's now going up quite a bit. Oh, you know what? We actually do get money from those drinks sold anyway. So it's probably not a bad thing to have there as much as I was opposed to them initially. It's not bad if it gives me a little bit of extra income. Yeah, yeah, sit your ass down in there. That's a really good, nice mustachio, by the way. Um, dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one of the possible three. But the two point health ministry, I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital and lower bullocks. The choice is. As they say, is yours. Rise okay. and shine, everyone. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down at Grog Ben's Ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. Oh, I somehow doubt that at all. Or completely, I should say. So we have a one star in the first one, and now we have unlocked the other one to mess around with, too. So we can continue, I guess, um, actively controlling both of them by jumping one to the other one. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to see more of this on the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. We can definitely do so. Otherwise, all the information for Two Point Hospital will be down below. We haven't gotten to the really super... I mean, we've seen light, hit, light bulb hats, but the ghost and the fires and all that stuff. There's apparently more to come down the line. I will catch you next time.